All right. We are back. Back with Hollywood and the rest of the Shadowrunners. Off to rescue our adopted father, Raven Black. Let's put these codes in. Our dear, dear brother, 44526. Gunshow, or Duncan, depending on how you would like to refer to him, has, excuse me, a new gun that basically after you hit somebody marks them with a the target that makes them even easier to hit the second time around 25301 which means I think he could probably two shot most goons 301 see that memory game is actually helping me verifying sequence accepted access to special projects granted please have your Omega ID ready when we enter alright let's go we do not have an Omega level ID. We do have a lot of bullets. And sadly we don't have our mummy right now, but we do have some cool spirit animals. That's that's how this is going to be working. Dew shine for the adventurous Mountain Dew drinker. That's <laughs> that's how it's working. I actually found this at store. Um, surprisingly, I normally can only get in, like, y you know, like, one-off. I actually found a pack. It was actually very nice. Refreshing. I don't know why, but I've become a Mountain Dew connoisseur. Actually, I became a soda connoisseur at a very young age because my parents did stuff with um, Coca-Cola. So I was like, hmm, th this is nice, this has a good aftertaste. This is quite impressive. I was experienced to a lot of different types of soda, and I've developed quite an interesting palate. Mountain Dew Dushan isn't bad, it's made with real sugar and you can tell. Because real sugar tastes so much different than just, I, I don't know want to say artificial sugar, but you can taste the difference when it's just real straight up sugar with nothing Special added to it. All right, let me just read about assist. <laughs> the elevator codes required. Acquired. You head into the enclosed space, watching the ceiling access panel close. As you make your way to lap 12, light elevator music contrasts sharply with the smell of sweat and cordite. As the lights on the elevator hit 12, you cover the door and wait. Oh, we're getting ready to shoot something. Ooh, Duncan's ready to put that new gun to use. Saying captain. The security captain studies his fingernail cuticle cuticles with quiet intensity. He looks ready to drone out a standard challenge, but stops when he sees your maintenance uniform. He raises his weapons. His weapon. Okay, hold on. You should know that maintenance is not allowed to be in here without an Omega level escort. You have two seconds to produce an Omega level ID before I open fire. Well, you asked for it. Take him down. See, I actually had hoped that we would have, you know, opened fire immediately or something. Fun like that. Okay, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna move here. Move here. Um, can Gobbit throw one? Nah, I can't really throw one right there. So what we're gonna have Gobbit do is flush out this dude right here. He's up and at him. Duncan, hide here. Light him up. Nice taser rounds. Beautiful. And we're going to just pop him twice in the face. Bang! bang and the best part about it is our dear friend Gobbit oh I was going to say Gobbit's going to take him out but what I really meant to say was Isabel's going to take him out or not there we go Jesus and hot over here there we go so SMGs are actually kind of useful just for flushing people out, but outside of that, they're not really 
that good in this game. Um, you pop up. I'm not gonna do too much damage, but this will, or not. Uh, that was. There we go. That's what we we're looking for. Um, can we get like one good shot? Ah, dang. Jesus. Okay, that didn't go as as I had planned. Um, pop pop. Nah. They did change how SMGs worked in this game as opposed to the past two, but I don't find them too big of an issue. There's also a very, very cool mod that someone made that tweaks a lot of the weapons and armor and some other stuff. It's not bad. Never downloaded, but uh, I've read some of the stats on it. Just, let's just blow them up. That's all we need right now. Yay! That wasn't that difficult at all. They should be ashamed of themselves. It's either that or we're just that awesome. Shh, I think we're just that awesome. Because we're Shadowrunners. That's how it is. And let's just... Boop. I'm going to boost that up just a little bit. Because maybe the music will be a little bit better. Alright, open the door. And what do we find? Use the access card. And we have... Oh god, the game's saving. Oh my Jesus! There's Raymond. What the heck? Mod 12 smells of shiny new computer equipment, and the entire room hums with quiet efficiency. Monitors ping occasionally, broadcasting quiet alerts. The whole environment breathes high-tech serenity. The centerpiece of the scene is a cockpit-like capsule containing the unconscious form of Raymond Black, reclining peacefully on what looks to be some form of surgical couch. Wires run from myriad assist devices to the back of his head. Isabel, she takes in the scene. Impressive setup, Josephine Sang must have spent a fortune on this. Duncan's eyes are fixed on Raymond's unmoving body. His voice lowers to a whisper. Holy shit. Raymond. Let's get him out of there. All at once, alarm klaxons begin to blare. The door that you entered through slides shut. You can see, you can hear the latching mechanisms engage. It's locked tight. The pounding sound of heavy footsteps resonates from the other side. Bodies approaching and moving at a rapid clip. Gobbit, whatever we're gonna do, we'd better do it fast. We're about to have company. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, let's figure out what we're going to do. Scrolling through the, re the reams of information on display, you eventually find step-by-step -step instructions for disconnecting a subject. Really? Huh. Okay, well, good for us. That's fortuitous. From the machine while it's in a state of operation. The instructions do not look promising. This is hopeless. We can't shut this thing down according to the normal spec. We don't have the time or the clearance or the personnel. Maybe if we had a week, echelon security clearance and an army of lab techs, but we don't. We're gonna have to improvise. Excuse me. You're talking about improvising with his brain. She looks you in the eye, her voice is deadly serious. We don't have a choice. We came up with something else, or we leave him here. Search for a way to perform the emergency dissect disconnection from the system. I almost said dissection. Ugh. Don't dissect his brain. Eventually, you turn up an alternate, an alternative method labeled deeply unsafe. Lovely! For removing a subject from the machine mid-procedure. In order to perform an emergency disconnect, you're going to have to reprogram his memory manually using engrams stored in the assist machine's memory. Doing this, though, the, through the terminal would take hours. You'll need a decker to guide the process in real time. If you fail to restore Raymond's memories properly, he will suffer catastrophic neurological damage. In the best case scenario, he will be left a vegetable. In the worst case scenario, he will die. 
enable the terminal's jack point and initiate an emergency override. Here goes nothing. Let's go. Let's go, Chica. Alright. Let's set up our defenses. How are we going to do this? If we had defenses to fall back on, that would be nice. Boom. Get ready. Nice. You, let's get... She missed, oh my god, really? That's lovely. Nice. Are you kidding me? This is gonna suck. That's it. This is gonna suck. Alright. What's their... Formation... Let's go. Ladies, let's get in formation. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. I want to force it, but no, that's going to cost 50. It's more than usual, so we're going to have to hack it straight up. A little more than a sip for good luck, let's go. 4, 2... What? I did it! 2, 1, 4, 1. Alright, let's go. Boom, boom. Alright, what do we got in the middle? Come on, give me something. Weird sign. Got it. Alright. Let's go. Control hub, the console display blossoms to life at your approach. Okay. Excuse me. Soda. It's, it's that Dushan. Read me general practices. Scanning the files, you find a list of procedures that governs the safe removal of subjects from the machine. According to the file, all four memory engrams need to be locked into the control hub in chronological order. Then, and only then, can a subject be ejected without suffering permanent neurological damage. Lovely. Open the host. Okay. Ingram slot one. Activate. What is... Disconnect. We, we don't know which one these... what these things are. We do know that they are dawn, dusk, night, noon. That's the order. Dawn, dusk, night, noon. We're gonna have to remember that. I want to F up his brain. I do not want to destroy his brain. Hello there. We gotta take this guy out. Nice two shots. Oh, that's lovely. Did we already shoot this guy? Oh, are you kidding me? This is going to be an uphill fight. For the ages. Like that's that's it. Pop him up. Nice. Please take him out. Nice. Okay, thank you, God. Okay, I'll take two damage all day. I will take two damage all day, baby. Okay, here's our biggest conundrum yet. Killer's 55%. Alright. We're, we're going to attempt to snipe at least one of these programs out. Miss. Is that when we summon? Yeah, we'll summon the assassin. Assassin up. 
Assassin, go. Oh, lovely. We have, I believe, three turns. Three turns in here is one turn outside of the Matrix. Oh! Black Icy. Lovely. Nice to see you. Ooh, that was actually very, very painful. Killer, drop him. That on him. Nice. Uh, we could throw down an Erosion. Oh, we can't throw down an Erosion. What can he do? Apparently, Jack. Okay, that was one good hit. If we could hit him... Nice. Now we can heal up. And then we'll take out the white IC on the next turn. We're not going to be able to get to the back line yet, which sucks. But, ooh, that, that hurt. Killer. Please hit. Nice. Erosion program, please hit. No, okay. We still have a couple different attacks. I know why am I not moving to like better vantage points. I don't want to get caught by these things. Like I know they're not really that dangerous, but I'm still spunked out by them. Um, uh, oh, I'm angry. That hurt. You, sir. Need someone to take you out. Why do I keep using that? Um, Gobbit, can you flush this dude out, please? Nice. Nice. Good thing we have two guns now. Isn't that fantastic? And... Can we actually throw the acid down in an appropriate place? There we go. She missed again! I... I, I don't understand that. Thank you. God, I thought that was gonna hit. Good. We can, we can hold them off. We got this. We got this. We're golden. We are golden. Hit. Woo! Ric Flair. Woo! Alright, we're good. Stop freaking out on me. Let's go. Hack it. Alright, what do we got? Start. Nine four one three nine four one three seven two two five M in the second row. Weird thing, another M. Okay, okay, I've lost all my focus right now. Dang it! Oh, I messed up. We got heat for that. Force it. I have the passwords, dummy. Okay. Or at least I have some of the passwords, now I'm realizing it. A flood of engrim streaks by, you hack into the flow, capturing a small clump of tight, distinct memories. Tiny and round, one of them glows, set apart from the others by its intensity. The verdant aroma of a still pond on a late summer day. Its reflective surface is distributed by a single tear as the ripples glide from its impact point. A young boy's face is reflected in the water grief fracturing its innocence. He traces the character for father in the water with his finger. Aww. Father. Okay. So that was the first one. We 
have the character for father that appeared first. Okay, we're gonna have to heal up. We're gonna heal up and summon our two friends. The assassin program, and we're also gonna summon the shield ESP to help us out. Alright, lovely programs. Hurt him, please. Hurt him again, because he deserves it. Nice. Okay, shield. Shield Isabel. And please beat up the black guy, see? Nice. Surprisingly, black guy, see, is taking a decent amount of damage. Missed. More system trace. Seven turns remaining until emergency disconnect, so we only have seven turns to take care of this. That's why it's also... Are you going to use the magic marble? Let's do it. Come on, rat spirit. Thank you. You are amazing. We're going to need to take that thing out. Not even the best idea, but hey. Reload. Nice. Nice. Good use of tracer rounds. And making him stand up now is completely useless. I should have made that dude stand up. Nice, we'll take it. Oh! Well, at least he's taking some damage. I feel pretty... I feel kind of happy about that. Yeah, we're getting too many dudes. We can't clear them out in time. That's not... that's no bueno. Focus on that thing... Yeah, there we go. If you want blood, you got it. Okay, that was bad. Okay, we're fine. Oh, I didn't mean to move there. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us. Nice. I still think we could do this in seven turns. It's not going to be that difficult, but it's the issue of ordering all of his memories in the proper order. Well, we do have the idea of what's going on. Okay, oh lord, oh lordy. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. There we go. We're breaking through. Or I could have just clicked password, you dummy. Alright, a cascade of engrams. The Youth Center Gymnasium. Oh, this is when he was young. Is thick with the scent of adolescent perspiration, marked by a steady diet of cheap soy protein. His authority as youth director is challenged, and although the boy couldn't be more than twelve, they stand eye to eye. To eye. The boy looks at his graying hair and sneers. You better know Kung Fu, mister, the pudgy boy says. I know lots of things, he replies. Are you smart enough to learn them? Okay, so that was when he was young. Raymond as a boy. Raymond as a middle-aged man. That was Duncan. Duncan was the pudgy dude who walked up to him and said, You better know Kung Fu. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 let's get out of here. Let's let's run, let's run, let's run, let's run, let's run. God dang it. Kill it with fire. Nice. Kill it. Alright. We're up. Alright. We got another black eye C and Okay. This is pretty similar to the past one. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the strategy of summon you, summon you, and drop a killer program on one of the ICs. Nice. And shield is going to, of course, shield Izabo from any and all damage. And go for it. Nice. Please hit. Nice. And we're going to throw an assassin on this. And of course, the 95% chance miss. Shades of more time, ladies and gentlemen. Don't hit her. Thank you, God. This thing is just going to be a jerk. So, we have, we have issues right now. Our biggest issue is we can't, we, we can't kill everything. We're gonna summon you. Please, please do us a solid nature spirit. The, the most solid of bro solids. Mana arc, mana spell bounces between the two closest enemies. These two guys would be a good shot for it. Ah, there we go. They managed to stun somebody. It's fantastic. He's awake though. How, how you doing? How you doing? Plague barrier. We'll throw that up there so he ain't moving. Who do we need up? We need him up. Get up. Okay. If you could, sir, please don't mess us up. Nice. Reload. We got double here. Nice. Got him. What else do we need? We'll begin work on him so Duncan can take him down really quick. This guy actually is probably the best target. Nice! And yeah, I don't know why the game is slightly freaking out like it's doing. Nice. It's just acting kind of weird. Nice. The new gun is amazing, by the way. And. That gets thrown back in your face. Because I convinced my little brother, and he gets all that plague barrier on him. Because I convinced my little brother that he should get a robotic arm. Because it's cool. And you really can't argue with that logic. It's probably the nicest thing I did for my little brother. Outside of leading a ragtag tag team of Shadowrunners. To rescue our father. You know, it, it's in that area. Nice. Not bad. Dang it. killer. Actually what we could do is get rid of our system trace now. Boom. Drop that down. And then just take some shots as we just blow through all of our IC. There we go. How's this work? Uh, run, 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 run. Please, please, please. Um, try password? Um, we do have passwords, don't we? This is night. So let's go with... N-I-G-H-T Boom! I had the passwords. What am I, why am I getting heat for? A tide of engrams rolls past. The scream wakes him like an old friend, as it does every night. He pulls the sheets away from his damp body and stumbles to the bathroom. Whoa! His heart pounding. Rinses his face and the back of his neck with cool water. He looks up from the basin into the mirror and finds an old man staring back at him. A terrified old man. That was fairly recent. And we're out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, well, aren't you new? 
Okay, so this was designed to give us way more heat than we usually get. And when I say system trace or heat, basically that means when this bar fills up, we're going to be inundated with very, very angry IC. Mostly black IC that will actually damage Gobbit in real space. So that's not cool, you know? It's not cool at all. Assassin programs. Okay, you are going to, yeah, do it. Nice. This guy in the back is going to be annoying, but really we should focus on the IC that is giving us system trace. Nice miss. Protect our girl. And who are you going for? Eh, take a shot. Alright. Not too bad. We're not in a bad situation. We're good. Ooh. Oh, it only did 30, I suppose. Alright, and we're still doing good on this. We're actually doing pretty freaking fantastic. And if you could mop up after Big Bro. Uh, swing it a mess. Take him out, if you would, sir. Nice. We're going to need to reload. And then next turn we'll be able to take this dude out. Hopefully if we land the shot. No, we didn't land it. It's all good, though. Can we actually get this fog to appear in the right freaking spot? Nope. We missed again, apparently. Gotta love Gobbit. For, you know, missing. 100% of the time. All the time. It's just... That's why we love her. Oh, he didn't take too much damage for that. That's nice. Who are we focusing on? Him. Please hit. Nice. Because this thing would buff up these two. It hasn't started yet, and I really don't want it to. So, it'd be really nice if we could actually, you know, hit. Really? Jesus. Okay. Boop. Swing and a mess again. Swing and a mess again. I really don't know why it's... Give me one second. Why it's acting like that. I deleted everything else that's running on the comp. Or... I just got rid of everything. Close Google, all that stuff. Oh my god. For real? We're about to have the most system trace on the planet. If we get to 350, it's like an automatic. Well, not automatic. Let's try again. But it might be just easier. Well, we can't even get out of the system. From what I remember of previous games, even if you just jack out of the system, you'll have to get back in. Alright, it's almost time for another turn. Ooh, that hurt. Heal up. We are going to have to take this thing out now. And if I move the assassin program any closer, that thing's going to pick him up. So right now it's just a game of numbers. And we are losing it quite badly. We can go for an AoE. Okay, just screw it. AoE. We, we did no damage. Are you kidding me? We have four turns to get the old man out, which is just abysmal. Alright, this thing. Four, alright, he hasn't freaked out or broken. Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, you can hit. Well, let's leave it up to Duncan. Get that tracing shot. Nice. 
and unload. Oh, wow, he's still, you know, in cover, which is awesome. Just freaking awesome. Give him a little bit more to go on there. Maybe light him up a bit. Let's try that. Did decent damage, and hopefully there's one shot, two shot, three shot blocked. Lovely. Nice. There we go. Finally. Ooh. I really do not know what the heck is going on with this, but hey. And the last is noon. I think that's really a key as to what's going on. Or it could not be. So noon's the password. Boom. Let's get in here. Current of engrams. Anticipation. The hall is long and ends at his door. He traverses the distance slowly, knowing that he is being observed by his new underlings. And there it is, newly installed, shining like a mirror on a door, made from real wood. The brass nameplate, Edward Sang, Vice President of Special Projects. Pride swells within him. Alright, so I think we've got our order down. Oh, good. Boom. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Open this again. Um, according to the file, all four memory engrams need to be locked into Control Hub in chronological order. Alright. Reintegrate host. Wait, what? Oh, don't tell me I messed up. Why can't... Why isn't... Okay. We tried that, and it did not work good. First one is Raymond as a young executive. Raymond as a young boy. Okay. Young boy. Boom. Chronological order. Two. Raymond as a young executive. Boom. Raymond as a middle-aged man. Boom. And four. Raymond as an old man. So we went through his father dying. That was the first one. The second one was him becoming vice president of special operations. Third one was meeting Duncan and having Duncan um, basically ask him if he knew Kung Fu. Or he better know Kung Fu if he was going to either teach them or raise him. And the last one was him like waking up in like night terrors from whatever happened with the special projects in the walled city. So we got everything. Reintegrate. Success. Nice. That went better than I thought. Reload. Actually, we don't really need to reload. Take two shots. Nice. Alright, we got it. The clean room echoes with your footsteps as you approach the capsule containing the assist surgical couch. Through the window, you can see that the last eight years have not been kind to Raven Black. The trauma of the last few days is readily apparent. The pasty pallor of his skin and the white growth of stubble on his chin make him appear far older than 65. He lies unconscious, his chest barely moving, his eyes sunken and his jaw slack. Carefully applied gauze dressing on his balding head surrounds a gleaming metal pour to data jack. A thin bundle of wires runs from the jack to the device mag to the capsule wall. Oh my god. Although his voice is small, it echoes loudly through the clean room. 
Dad? Duncan? I'm here, yeah. Wu glances at you apologetically. James is here too. Raymond opens his eyes with a dream with a dreamy smile. Hello, Mr. Brown. Good to see you. He must be disoriented from the assist programming. Looks like we got to him just in time. No time to catch up right now, Hollywood. We've got to move. Hello, Ra. It's time to get you out of here. Oh, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. Um, disconnecting Raymond from the assist device proves to be straightforward as does getting him out of the capsule and onto the cleaning room floor. It feels as if he barely weighs anything at all. Although his breathing is a bit erratic, Raymond seems steady enough to on his feet. Lead on, James. I'll be right with you. Or right behind you. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh! Really? You three jobbers. You three jobbers are going to stop us. Nah. I, I don't feel like it right now. High explosive. Nail grenade. Whoop! Sucks to be you guys. If only I had a shot that could just make them stand up just normally. You know? Without need of Gobbit or an SMG, that'd be really useful. 12 damage. Duggan, of course. Oh, almost got him. Gobbit, what are we going to do with you, Gobbit? Do it? Well, they were swinging a miss. Could have been worse. Heal him up. Raymond is going to cower back here. We're not going to let anything happen to him. And you know what, Isabel? F it. Take the shot. Nice. Take another shot. Nice. What we should have did was... Gobbit? Not Gobbit. Isabel has a little proximity mine. That would have been really useful. If you could, maybe stand him up. Nice. Uh, that's all we need. Or not, that's not all we need. Apparently we need a little more. Let's get this working. Dead eye. Nice, and get that working. Nice, and that made him stand up. Now, we throw this on Duncan. Or Gun Show, if you would prefer to call him that. What the freak? Alright, there we go. Head exploding goodness. And we're out. Oh my god. Alright. So that worked out. Thank you for watching. JB Illusion. And tune in next time for the thrilling... Conclusion, to find out everything that is going on in the walled city, to find out from our father himself, and for the chaos that I am telling you is going to come, and the shocking conclusion as to what our visions have to do with the walled city, as well as our dear grandmother's surprisingly powerful company and how she seems to have so much prosperity. <laughs> Peace, guys.